Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, this morning's devotion will be out of John chapter 4. We'll be in verses 1 through 10. Uh, and this is the story about the Samaritan woman. And uh, so I just want to read it to you and then just point out something right there at the end. It says, Jesus knew that the Pharisees had heard that he was baptizing and making more disciples than John, though Jesus himself didn't baptize them. His disciples did. So he left Judea and returned to Galilee. Verse 4, it says, He had to go through Samaria on the way, and eventually he came to the Samaritan village of Sychar, near the field of Jacob, uh, near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat wearily beside the well about noontime. Verse 7, it says, Soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at that time because... His disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised, for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? And in verse 10, the one I really want to focus on, it says, Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me, and I would give you living water. You know, in that key scripture where in verse 10, it says, you know, if you only knew who you were speaking to. And, uh, and I think that's uh, one of the areas where, you know, when we have problems in our life, whether it's a situation at home or work or, we, you know, we have a family member that has, uh, has passed away or, you know, just whatever trial it is. If we looked at our, our creator and we looked at God as who he is, if we only recognize that, hey, he knows everything, he's in control of everything, instead of just looking at our circumstances and how bad it's going for us in that moment. If we only looked to God and we, we knew who we were looking at, if we only knew who we were praying to, or if we were even praying at all, then how much different our situation might be. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, you know, sometimes it's very easy for us to focus on the problem instead of the solution. And uh, God is our solution. And, and I just want to encourage you today to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed so much by the problem or the spiritual rut that you're in, that you look to the solution, that you look to God, and that you you trust Him, and uh, and that you you acknowledge you know that He is in control of everything, and that you have faith because you know I think that's one of the things that we struggle with sometimes is we know that God can fix our problems, but we struggle to have the faith that God will fix our problems. And uh, so I just want to encourage you to, you know, to let your faith be built up and, and you know, trust God and that, and that we, we talk to God, that we communicate through prayer as if he is the one that can fix our problem. He's the one that can heal us. That he's the one that can touch our situation because he is. And so, you know, I think if we start building on our faith like that, that God can do some, some major impacts in our life uh, that we normally don't allow him to just because of our lack of faith. And uh, so just want to encourage you with that, that, you know, that we recognize God, that who he is, who we're speaking to, and that he is all knowing that he is all powerful and that he can touch whatever situation. He is our solution to whatever problem that we have. We hope you have a great day. Let's pray real quick. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the blessings that you've given us. And God, I just pray that you order our steps. God, that whenever problems arise in our life, that we look to you as our solution. And God, that we believe that and that we uh, let our faith be built up in that. And God, that we just trust you no matter what. That even, even if the situation doesn't happen the way that we want it to end, end up the way that we want it to. God, that we just trust you and, and that we just acknowledge you that you're our creator and that you're all powerful. And that you know exactly what we need when we need it. Whether we like it, whether we don't like it, whatever it is, God, that we just trust you in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great day.